I'm in Shenandoah National Park at the Thornton Gap entrance, which is U.S. Route 211. And that building there is the uh, rest area here known as Panorama. I'm down here at the other end. There's my little red car. Over there's the uh, way to go up to Mary's Rock. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the Appalachian Trail and I'm going to uh, hike up to near the summit of Pass Mountain to the shelter up there and uh, eat some lunch and then come back. It's not a real long hike, maybe four miles or so, but I uh, had some uh, minor surgery on my foot a while back and it's still I'm still trying to recuperate from that a little bit. So I'm going to have some, have some short uh, hikes until, uh, until my foot foot gets uh, better. So let me close up my car. I'm going to go over here and uh, look at the signs and figure out where the Appalachian Trail is comes through here. I'm not exactly sure where it is. It's over here somewhere though. The elevation here is 2300 feet. Yeah so over there's my car. You just come right over here like you're going up to Mary's Rock and if you take a look at this thing it's it's got Mary's Rock and also the Appalachian Trail. It's only 30 yards this way to the AT. So let's go down here and get on the AT. Three tenths of a mile into my hike, I just crossed over US 211. That was exciting. That's where I came from. And uh, it's an AT sign there, and we're going to continue on up this way. Have to cross over Skyline Drive again. Four tenths of a mile into my hike, and I'm getting ready to cross Skyline Drive. Right over there is where I wanted to start the hike, but uh, there's just nowhere to park there. So I don't think you can park in this median here. So nowhere to park there. So you either have to go north, maybe a couple tenths of a mile and park up there somewhere. Or what I did was I went south and I crossed the bridge and parked over there in Panorama and came up. Here's the Appalachian Trail coming up. You can see the white blaze on that tree. So let me get up here and uh, we'll, we'll follow this on up the Appalachian Trail. This is a stretch that I've never hiked. So we'll follow it on up to uh, top, near the top of Pass Mountain. They just crossed over Skyline Drive. This is also the, the big interchange at the Thornton Gap entrance. I don't know. So if you come up from the uh, entrance, you'd be coming up this section of road here. I don't know. Maybe you could pull off to the left there and... Park your car there, maybe. But uh, you can't park it here. Anyway, we're going to head on up this fire road, which is also part of the AT. Seven tenths of a mile into my hike. The elevation here is 2470. And uh, when you get here, this is where the AT uh, runs back into this uh, uh, access road. So you have to turn left and uh, follow the access road up a ways. And I'm sure it'll jump off again here once we get up here a little ways. You see that tree up there on the right? It's got a white blaze on it. Yeah, so like a hundred yards up the road on the left, here's the uh, left turn to get back onto the AT trail. Actually right down there in the, in the middle of the screen is where I, I got onto the road. So you just come up here about a hundred yards, look for this AT signpost and turn left.
1.1 miles into my hike. I'm up to 26.80 and uh, still on the Appalachian Trail. There's where I'm headed. It's been a pretty steady climb getting up here. There's where I came from. Well maintained trail. The PATC does a great job of keeping this trail clear. One point six miles into my hike, I'm up to uh, twenty seven sixty, and here's the fork in the road. If you keep going straight, that's the Appalachian Trail, which takes you up to the summit of Pass Mountain. I'm not going there. I've already been there before, and uh, there's nothing to see up there because it's just trees. But we're going to veer off to the right here. That's about two tenths of a mile down this side trail to the uh, Pass Mountain uh, shelter. One point eight miles into my hike, I'm down to uh, twenty six seventy, <clears throat> and there's the uh, Pass Mountain Shelter. Whoops, there it is. So this was my destination. I'm going to uh, I'm going to use a picnic table and eat some lunch and uh, rest up a little. I'll show you around with some pictures and so forth. Okay, here's a 360 sweep of the area here. There's the road coming down. Got the uh, got the hut here. It's uh, it's a it's got <clears throat> it's a three-sided stone structure. Most of these were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps years ago. And uh, this one in here, I don't know if this is going to show up, but this one in here has got uh, two two levels. There's a lower level there, and then there's an upper, upper level up there, and so forth. That box there, they usually put the uh, sign-in register there, the log. Got your picnic table, got the fireplace there. Now over there to the left is the old style uh, pit privies, and then right there straight ahead, that's the new style that they're putting in. That's a composting privy. You go up a ramp, use the bathroom, and all the waste drops down into that composting pit. So that's a more environmentally uh, clean way of uh, disposing of human waste. So let me get my pack. Oh, and then back back behind here, there's a uh, uh, there's a spring. So uh, let me get my pack off, and uh, we'll get some food, and I'll show you the spring and stuff. So right there's the back side of the shelter. And here's the spring. Nice flow of water coming out of it. And then that heads on down the side of the mountain.
So there's a little trail that takes off to the east of the hut. And you follow it over here, you end up crossing the, uh, the little stream. And there's some nice camping spots designated here. There's one right here. Look at that. Nice. Another one over here. So, man. It's all cleared out back here. Look at this. Man, oh man. Pretty nice. And then, uh, back there, that, that, I don't see a pole that designates it as a campsite, but it looks to me like you could probably set up camp over there. Like maybe a hammock in between a couple of those trees. That'd be pretty sweet. There's another camping area off to the, uh, off to the west. So I'll go over there and, uh, We'll check that one out. This is pretty nice here. It's got two uh, two big spots for sure, and it's real cleared out. Real nice. A little hard to see, but there's a pole there. Looks like an upside-down umbrella you can hang your food on. That's always a good idea. Keep it away from the, uh, from the shelter so that the bears don't come in the middle of the night looking for your food. Sometimes raccoons can get up those poles, though. They're pretty clever. All right, let's go over and take a look at this composting privy. So here's the inside of the privy. When you're done using it, there's usually wood chips or something in there. Yeah, wood chips. You throw a handful of wood chips in there and uh, it helps with the composting process. Okay, here's the other uh, camping uh, area. Uh, this is off to the west of the uh, hut. There's a uh, spot there there's a spot there uh, there might be some more back there I'll check that out there's the uh, pole to hang your food on there's another spot there this is this is more this is a uh, more on a slope than the first uh, site I showed you yeah, so if you push on west further past that first site I just showed you, then you got another little smaller site here. There's one spot right there. That's pretty flat and cleared out. And then there's another post there. So I guess that's another, another spot right there. So if you really want to get away from the crowd, this, this would be the spot. I'd probably pick this one right here. This spot here is a pretty good camping spot. It's right by this great big huge tree. It's got, it's got some pretty good shade right there. If it rains hard though, you're going to have a drainage issue here. But hey, if it's dry, be a nice spot. I'll have to read you an entry from back in August the 23rd. It says, Guitar Zan in from north heading south. Or Oreo saw a bear 50 yards or so into the woods at 11 o'clock as you're sitting at the picnic table looking out. First bear I've seen. There are no guitars at any of the shelters. What's up with that? And down here at the bottom says, Three hot chicks from Luray, Virginia. We're just stopping by to say, hey, hope everyone's having a nice hike today. Hmm.
In case you're not familiar with how to use a, a compass in conjunction with these topo maps, in the lower left hand corner of the map it'll, it'll give you this information. This is especially important. This tells you that there's 12 degrees western declination between grid north and magnetic north on this map. These vertical lines, that's grid north. So you put your compass on the map with the edge of the base plate lined up with one of these grid lines. And then if you look at there, you'll see I've got 12 degrees of western declination dialed in to my compass. And then you turn the map and the compass together until the needle goes in that little red shed there. And once you do that, you've got the map correctly oriented with the earth. And that's how you use a compass. Well, I'm headed back down the side of the mountain, back to my car. Instead of retracing my steps on the AT, I decided I'd take the service road back down just to be doing something different. So, uh, I'll take a couple of shots of it along the way. I don't expect to see a whole heck of a lot, though. Downhill all the way, baby. Look at that. The service road turned itself into a river. It's pretty muddy in certain spots here. Three point one miles into my hike, I'm still hiking down the uh, service road. I'm down to a twenty four eighty, and uh, over there you can see that dome. That's a uh, water tank that they show on the uh, on the topo map. Well, curiosity killed the cat. So I came down here to see, there's that big old water tank. And uh, next to it here, it looks like a, a spring well here. Some kind of water valve. Another spring well over there. A big old power transformer over there. And... Uh, with the number 25 on it, transformer, power transformer. And up there's uh, some sort of a maintenance building. I'll mark the location on, the, uh, on my GPS. I'm still over here by this water tank. There's a there's an old wellhead they capped off. There's the uh, tank, and uh, those two spring spring wells over there probably replaced this thing over here, this wellhead. There's Mary's Rock over there. I'm still descending on this service road. Three point eight miles into my hike, I'm down to twenty three seventy. I'm still hiking along the service road. There's where I came from. And uh, <clears throat> I'll show you on the map when I do the map talk, but this, <laughs> this looks like the old service road that according to the map just basically came straight down the side of the mountain from the water tower. 
straight down to here which would have been a pretty steep road so I'm guessing what they did was instead of trying to negotiate such a steep road all the time they made this big loop around this way which makes the road maybe twice as long but it's it's not as steep but anyway that that yeah that looks like where the old road was so I'm going to continue on down this way Four miles into my hike, I'm down to, uh, what am I down to, 2330, 2330, and here's Skyline Drive, the AT is straight ahead, but I think I'm just going to take a left and go across the bridge here to get back over to Panorama. There's Mary's Rock up there, so yeah, let's just uh, walk across the bridge, what the heck. This is a map of today's hike. The quadrangle name is Thornton Gap, 1994. And I hiked a short section of the Appalachian Trail up to the Pass Mountain Shelter. This red line here is Skyline Drive. And this interchange right here is the entrance to the park at Thornton Gap, which is off of U.S. Route 211. Sperryville, Virginia is over here on the east side of the mountain. You come up to 11, and you come into the park here. And after you pay your toll, you head s south on uh, Skyline Drive, which takes you around this way. As soon as you come across the bridge, you turn into this parking lot right here. There's a uh, bunch of bathrooms there, and if you come a little further down the parking lot, there's parking here for Mary's Rock and hikes and also for the Appalachian Trail. So you park your car here. You'll see a sign that for Mary's Rock which also puts you on the Appalachian Trail and just head north on the AT you'll have to cross US 211 here then you go back into the woods climbing the mountain and then here you have to cross over Skyline Drive now I park down here because there's really nowhere right here uh, to, to, to pull over and park so that's why I parked down here and just came up on the AT. Cross over Skyline Drive. And then you follow the Appalachian Trail on up the side of the mountain until you get to here. Now, when you get to here, there's a concrete signpost there. And if you go straight, this is the Appalachian Trail heading on up towards Pass Mountain Summit. If you turn to the right, this will be a blue blazed trail which takes you down the side of the mountain slightly to here. And this is where Pass Mountain Shelter is. Right there. 
So I got some pictures of that stuff there. And then for something different to come back, I came down the uh, service road, which is this line right here. Like this. Now when I got down to here, I noticed the water tower off to the right. So I went over here and checked that out and then got back on the service road. Back down here to Skyline Drive. Now when I got to Skyline Drive, instead of coming back down this way, I just walked across the bridge like this and came in like that. Fairly short hike. This ended up being 4.4 miles and 690 feet of uh, ascent. So that's that's a nice quick hike. Uh, it in this same parking lot. If you hike to the south, you can go see Mary's Rock, or if you hike north, you can come up here and maybe eat lunch here at Pass Mountain Shelter. Now, if you go all the way up to the summit up here of Pass Mountain Summit. There's really nothing to see up there because it's completely covered with trees. Okay, but you might want to go up there just so you can say you did it. And then coming down this way is just a variation on a theme. You could just as easily come back down the AT. And that was the hike for today.